Welcome back to For the Record. I'm Jed Donahue. I'm joined by Sarah Parks and Ned Book, counselors with SCORE, a nonprofit uh, national organization specializing in small business counseling. And uh, yeah, just put development in that category yeah. right there. Anyway, delighted to have both of you here. Let's talk about some of the, you know, the way in, if you will. And we talked about the money. And let's face it, you know, when I was in journalism, it was, you know, the old Watergate thing, follow the money. The money is what matters here. Yes. Is it going to work? Is it going to be upside down? Are you going to make it or not? Uh, what about getting financing in today's environment? Is it easy? Is it in between? Well, right we'll now, start with you. Yeah, right now it's very, very difficult. Uh, yeah. The banks are not very loan friendly right now. So if they have a client, they'll probably take care of that client, but they're not taking on a lot of new clients. And that's not meant to discourage you, but it's, 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 it's a realism that we have to deal with. And therefore, uh, interestingly enough, we get a lot of clients from the banks. The banks refer people to us and say, you go work on your business plan with them, then come back and see us. But it's very, very difficult right now because the banks uh, are having difficult times. But it, there's still new businesses starting, and there's also other forms of investment for, for, for these people. So that, that's another aspect to look at. There are some creative uh, funding strategies that we can work with individuals on a one-to-one -one basis, and I think that's probably the important message here, that uh, we can look at their overall assets and determine whether or not there is a way that mm -hmm. they can use some of those assets mm -hmm. uh, to, to fund their own business. And, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. Most, most entrepreneurs are self-funded. By far, I think it's uh -huh. what 70 or 75 percent of the uh, small businesses nationally are funding. Uh, individuals are funding themselves. Yeah, that literally. I mean, explain literally. that real quick. I mean, that they have enough money in the bank already to start no, up, or it might mean that asked. they <laughs> very that they very carefully use credit cards. It might mean that they very carefully. Uh, add a second mortgage to their homes. It might mean that they very carefully go to grandma or their, their and uncle, and uncle, yeah. uncle to, to get uh, some dollars to, mm -hmm. to match and pull together. Right. So it might be a package of funding rather than going to the bank for right. you know the complete amount of money that they're going to need. Yeah, literally maybe putting property to work and securing exactly. financing, one of those exactly. type of dynamics exactly. that you have in your nine-step plan right. that right. I saw online. Right, right. right. So, and right. you mentioned too about you know even a family loan maybe to secure you yes. know yes. for each thousand to use it in thousand dollar blocks. Right. You know and go right. that route. Or to give them the working capital they need right. to right. do business. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you wanted me to get into workshops and I know it's very prominent on your website right. and you go into a variety of different things. Uh, talk about that. Well, we a have a. Bit. The, 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 we run a, every month. We run uh, business basics courses, and they uh, they're kind of an introductory course to business. Everything you need mm -hmm. to know about business, and everything it stimulates you to think through the process before you you're committed to uh, something to anything. And then we have special workshops to deal with taxes. Um, Just individual subjects, marketing, right? Yes, right. marketing, yeah, everything. It's in, all the components of the business plan are covered in workshops ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Now, are these uh, members sometimes that you know say you're doing a mar it be somebody that's a marketing specialist that might be right. a member of Absolutely. SCORE that you bring in to run that workshop that night or whatever Absolutely. or day? Absolutely. Well, in it, yeah. February, for example, we're doing some financial. Uh, workshops and tax workshops and that's they're being conducted by two of our members who are experts in that area their mm -hmm. careers were built in the in the finance and accounting areas now I know I want to get into this in our time remaining and we're a little under three minutes here score members are governed by a high quality of standards of service I know ethics um, Ned, we'll start with you, and uh, Sarah, please follow. Sure. Um, what are some of the uh, things that you have to live by as counselors okay. and as members? Yeah, every year we have to sign and pledge again a code of ethics. Uh, our counseling is free. Uh, we're not allowed to invest in your business regardless of how good that business might be or how much we think is going to be successful, okay? Uh, we cannot receive any compensation from you at all. Include, <laughs> include, a cup of including a cup of coffee. Well, we'll let you have the water. Yeah. Water we can <laughs> have, yes, but we're, we're, we, we cannot receive any any compensation in any way, shape, or form, and it's confidential, and that's the important thing. It's confidential, and we don't talk to each other about a client unless the client knows we're talking to the other counselor about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's it's very very high level confidential counseling. 
and our our clients all have to be approved by the SBA or the National Score Office. So there's an application process. We go through a pretty vigorous training program. We don't just throw out people because they're good businessmen and women working with, with clients. Uh, they're evaluated. They work with, uh, you know, Annette and I worked together when I was the grass green uh, counselor. Uh, he was sitting right next to me, you know, mentoring me on these, these processes. So it's a rigorous standard set of standards. Yeah. It, it really doesn't matter what your background might have been. If you're going to be a score counselor, you have to go through the process of doing it the way SBA wants score counseling done. So it takes a minimum of three months to become a counselor. Oh, it makes sense to me. You kind of want a uniform yeah. message there. Exactly. So, I mean, that's, that goes without saying right there. It's kind of interesting. Some of our, our more distinguished uh, CEOs uh, don't necessarily like doing it, but mm -hmm. do the training program. Yep. I've got about 45 seconds. How do you become a volunteer? You both did. And uh, uh, Ned, we'll start with you a little bit. And then uh, maybe, Sarah, you can talk about just uh, how good the experience has been for you. I'm tight on time, but go ahead. How do you become well, a volunteer? You, you, you find a score counselor and say, I want to join. You go online, fill out the form. Somebody will contact you, and you can become a score counselor. You'll be interviewed by uh, somebody on the executive committee, mm -hmm. usually the, the chairman or uh, membership chairman. And it's been everything you'd hope, 20 I, seconds or less. I love SCORE. Okay. And I love the fact that we are helping other people to get into their own businesses. All right. Well, we're going to have you back. I want to do a follow-up on this. Uh, great information on SCORE, and uh, you've seen it on the website. Thank you both for being with us. Thank That's you. That's all. Thank Before you. the record, I'm Ted Donahue. Have a good one.